And here we go. Cap's ready to roll. Gonna try and get this one on. He's got his guy up front, giving him directions. Saying, come on, bro. Throttle down. Let's get her up here. Welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy, Wavy Boats. And it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the ramp. And today we are visiting Boynton Beach. And if you can't tell, things look a little different down here in Boynton. And that's because the ramp's been closed for almost six months as they redid all the ramps and they are back in action and we are back down here as well. And our guy looks like he has it on. Gonna trim the motors up a little bit. And should be good to roll from here. But I think his motors are still on. I wonder if he notices that. So our guy's walking up the truck to pull him out. Cap's left the helm. Cap, the motors are on, bro. The, the engines are still running on this boat. But Cap's left the helm. We're going for the pullout. Motor's running anyway. Let's go. I, are they going to notice it? They got to notice, right? And no, we're not gonna notice it. We're just gonna pull out and leave these engines rolling. And this is why you wear a safety kill lanyard. Because if Cap left the helm, guess what? These motors would have clipped off, but no. We're gonna let this run as we go ahead and pull away and both of them are on. And this is definitely one thing we've missed while this ramp's been closed, and that's the old dock blocker. As you can see our boys out here, everybody's hitting it. It is low tide right now. The boat in the blue just ran over it. Our teal boat is stuck on it, and the white boat to the left behind the teal boat is about to hit it. Dock blocker action rolling hard today. And I actually believe all the way to the far right of the screen, our fishing vessel there, I think they're on the other side of the dock blocker as well. As people have been coming in today, they are all complaining about this channel. They basically all said that they can't believe they closed the ramp for six months and they didn't dredge this channel. And if you've seen some of our old footage from here at Boyden, even prior to any of this, I mean, even at mid tide, if somebody jumps off the boat in this channel, it's probably only four foot. So it's definitely difficult if you're trying to come in and out with big boats. But I mean, you can see, look at the white boat that's coming over here in the background behind the teal. They've trimmed up, they're rolling over the dock blocker, but I swear this white fishing boat on the right's gotta be stuck as well because I don't see them moving. And our guys in the light blue boat, that Carolina blue boat, look like they've kind of stopped right there to the right to let everybody pass. I mean, there's not much these guys can do here. It's super shallow on both sides. And if you look to the right, you can see the water kind of rolling right off the dock blocker. Oh, but just one of the fun things we've missed down here at Boyton. So now, of course, the dock blocker's always been down here. But once again, we mentioned the ramps have changed a little bit and a new unique situation has all of a sudden been implemented. I'm not sure if they used shorter docks when they redid this. I don't think it's the same docks. But you're about to see, I can tell already, one of the situations we've noticed here now. At low tide, Not really. these guys are having to back their boats up further to be able to launch the trailer. So watch right here. My Just man's backing down here on the second lane. Huh? Just happy the ramp's and busy. all of a sudden, he's going to realize real quick, that trailer's not deep enough, but he's almost to his boat. Oh, he's going he's gonna to hit it. And we've seen this happen a bunch of times down here just in the first day back. And basically, now all of a sudden at low tide, you can't just back your trailer down. You're going to have to come back, move the boat almost to the back of the dock. Like right here, they just the guy poles have hit the boat. Oh, man. That's going to create some interesting situations down here for the people that just don't pay that close of attention down here at the ramp. Our guy caught it. And realize, hey, I guess I gotta move some lines in the boat to try and get this thing on now. So our guy in the trucks got out, trying to undo the line. I'm trying to figure out if he's deep enough to actually push this thing on. I don't think he quite is. 
Are they going to shoot their shot anyway? They're going to put in that work and try and get it done. And speaking of putting in that work and trying to get it done, do you enjoy being outside, meeting new people? Would you enjoy working in social media, being behind the lens and filming things going on? Well, here at Wavy Guru Productions, we are actually looking for you. We are currently hiring for multiple part-time positions, especially in the Miami area, the Boynton Beach area, and the Sarasota area. But if you don't live in one of those areas, we are also looking to expand. If you live near a busy boat ramp, an inlet, or a canal that we are not currently filming, email me as well, and we will see if we can work something out about bringing you on the team also. We're looking for people that have weekend availability, reliable transportation. This is ideal if you're retired, maybe a student just looking for some part-time work, all of our employees make over $25 an hour. Just email me at broncosguru1 at gmail.com and let me know if you're interested and we'll get the conversation started. Well, our crew's decided they're going to pull on, but as you can tell by the way my man was pulling from the dock, this is not going to be an easy one. And let's see how far they get. And that's about it right there, my man. You're going to have to back deeper if you want to try and pull this on. And he's going to try and get a little running start, I guess. But, man, you're not. One, our guy being in the bow is not helping. If you ever try doing this, guys, move that guy from the bow to the stern and get the weight off the bow. You're going to get a few more inches. Like, if he pulled right now, I bet it slides a little bit further forward again. But we're going to try and winch it on. This is a long winch, and you risk a lot of things when you try winch winching from this far. You risk that winch strap snapping. You also risk it fraying because you've got to make sure it's loading back into the winch right or it can cause all kinds of trouble as well. But let's see how this one plays out. And here we go, really starting to pull it now. <laughs> My man is getting a workout in. And once again, you can tell he's had to stop a couple times, and that's because it's not reeling in right, but at least he's catching it. I mean, I've watched people do this at the ramp where it'll get caught on the edges of the winch, and it starts to fray the line, and the next thing you know, it physically snaps. <laughs> but our guy at least stopped, caught it. He's backing off when he needs to, relining it up, but this is a lot of work right here. I still don't know why they just didn't back the truck down another maybe foot. And it would have been so much easier. But our guy, it looks like he's going to get it up here. And they'll be able to get it out of here. And speaking of getting out of here, we're going to get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hollover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we've got Boats vs. Hollover, where Main and Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hollover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.